All right, everyone. Hi, my name is Eddie Roberts, and I chose to do my presentation about my observation experiences. So why I chose it is because basically it's probably the biggest thing like I have to talk about, like, because I really, really enjoyed the observations and it was probably one of the, like, it had to be one of the most enjoyable parts of the class. So, you know, I just chose to do it because of how passionate I think I could talk about it. So I forgot, my name is Eddie Roberts. Pretty might have said that already, but it's okay. So to preface it, when I first went into observations, I really didn't have any expectations about it because I really didn't know what it was about. So, you know, but once I got in there and just absorbed all that information, it, you know, it really changed me because I really, really loved it after that. So, yeah, so that's the preface. Let's get on with the presentation. So, day one observations. Get there really, 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 really nervous. Like, almost wanted to change the date because of how nervous I was. So, get in there. First person I meet. Or no, actually no. I went up to the I went up to the desk. I'm like, hey, I, I have my observations for Rad Tech for LSUA. Can you point me in the direction where I should go? Guy doesn't know. I start freaking out. I'm like, all right, well, that's that's kind of sucks. He's like, let me get someone. And he's like, lady comes over. She says, hey, you know, go down to the radiology center. You know, over there. Da da da. I'm like, all right, cool. Walk over there. Walk in. Say, hey, I'm here for my observations. They're like, oh, go right ahead. Go in there. First person I meet, Miss Tina really really nice lady so get in there you know get in see two seniors that are actually there for LHOA for their clinicals so I kind of was relieved because you know people around my age so it was really really nice to have that so let's go on so basically first thing I got to see was a KUB so they were x-raying and a kind of middle-aged man he was laying down on the um on the table bucky and they put a gown over him and they actually told him to pull his shorts down just a little bit because they had a metal buckle and it would actually get in the way of the kb he was there because he had kidney stones and he was seeing if like there were any more so he did that and that was pretty cool to watch the images were pretty cool to see you could it was funny you could see the little like you could see poop in there it was pretty funny so um next thing we got to see was a chest x-ray and it was an elderly lady that was in a um, one of the portable beds that they have. So she was, so what they had to do is they had to f like lift her up really, really gently off of it and place the bucky behind her so that you know they could get the chest image. So then they had to move the tube, like line it up with the chest, the bucky on the actual stretcher thing. So that was pretty cool to watch. They had to do it a couple times because it, it messed up a little bit, but you know. It wasn't, it, the image came out fine in the end. So then, next thing we got to do, we got to go in the, uh, we got to go with a rad tech with the mobile x-ray, like the portable x-ray machines. That was pretty cool. The only thing was the rad tech was a little bit rude, like a lot of bit rude actually. She was jerking around the patients and, you know, she was like, I don't know. I can't really judge because everyone has their bad days, but, you know, she just, was not having it because you know some of these elderly patients are like slow and they're you know there for extended stay so that was interesting but you know what can you do so that concludes day one so day two get there probably i mean we get there and there was actually three or four people in miss liz's class which is my class so that was a relief so you know more people my age i get to talk to them and they're in the downtime and whatnot talk about the class talk about what we see so that was pretty cool first thing we get to see fluoroscopies coolest thing i've ever seen in the hospital you they have this like mix of something it's called they put barium in like a in a juice or something and basically you can watch the uh you when the older people or when the people get in the fluoroscopy swallow it you can literally see it go down their throat and down all throughout their body because it's like a, it's a different contrast of color what the actual liquid is the liquid's black and everything else is white and you can see it go down it's really really cool got to see two of those happen at once so that was pretty cool and then the second thing we did we all four of us needed a ct scan so we went over to the mri and ct center and we got to see a chest CT done on this elderly guy. He was probably like 65, 70, and he had been smoking 
three packs of cigarettes a day for 15 years. So crazy, I know. But the image was probably one of the clearest images that I've seen all throughout my observations in the in the hospital. It was really, really cool to see. And then while we were there, we also got to see a another elderly lady. She had a venipuncture and she got the, I think she was taking blood or something. And she got right here, she got it stabbed in. It looked like it hurt, but she just, she didn't flinch at all. So that was also really, really cool to see. So that ends day two. So moving on to day three, get there. Like, all right, please be someone there that I know. Bam, Miss Liz, Miss Liz is there. So I'm like, all right, cool. It's almost like another day in the lab for me because I get taught stuff and I get like to see how she teaches the seniors in there. And on that day, we actually got to see one of the seniors final comp, which is you have to do everything perfect for it. So that was pretty cool to see. So the first one we watched was an elderly woman. We watched her get her hips x-ray and both of her hips and i remember miss liz told us that with the hips with the hip one of the one of them has to be straight and one of them has to be like this to get a certain angle on the hip so let's say this is the hip back here you have to angle it this way to get it and then you have to do it for the other side so you have to angle it like this for the other hip so that was pretty cool to watch and then after that we got to watch uh one of the guy uh, this middle-aged man come in and he had to get his wrist x-rayed so they put the bucky on top of the table and they had to put his wrist there on top of the bucky and they had to fix the collimation to where it would only get part of his hand and all of his wrists so that was pretty cool to watch and you know other than that the day was pretty fun still but i got to you know talk with miss liz a lot and you know watch her final comp uh some of the other seniors so that was really really cool and yeah that concludes day three so day four, already finished everything on my checkoffs. Um, so I really had free reign of whatever I wanted to do. I could, could see whatever I wanted to watch, but I just chose to stay in the radiology department at uh, Cabrini. So basically I got to see more fluoros done that day and I got to see more chest and KBs done that day, just getting it down, like just watching it constantly, constantly. So, you know, if I ever have to like do it, I'll do it. Or when, hopefully, when I get to do it, I can know what to do and have little tips and tricks about it. So that was pretty cool. And then finally that day, I got to interview one of the rad techs for the interview that we had to turn in. And her name was, oh, I feel so bad, I forget her name. But yeah, that was really cool because she got to tell me how many years of experience she had. She had 25 years of experience. She told me you always need a good attitude to be a rad tech and always bring a pen. That was pretty funny. And you have to work well with your team because if you don't work well with your team, they're not going to like you and it's not going to go smoothly. So the better your attitude is, the better your day will be. So that's what I remember. Um, and that concludes day four. So finally, uh, likes and dislikes. I could not find a single thing that I disliked about uh, the whole observation hours. I really love getting to witness like, you know, what hopefully my job will be in the next few years and uh, what I'll be doing in the next couple of years for clinicals. That's gonna be really, really cool. I cannot wait to be in clinicals. I've already signed up or am going to sign up soon. I, I cannot wait. And also another thing, I really enjoy talking to the seniors, you know, getting their like realism from them, like, cause they've been there for two years. So they know, you know, they know all the ins and outs. So it was really cool talking to them. And it was also really cool when they were there because, you know, again, we weren't not necessarily comfortable with the older people. So, you know, people around our age, it, it just gave us, you know, it's a little, little more comfortability. So yeah, that's basically it. I rated a 10 out of 10. I loved it. We'll do it again. And I can't wait to move into the clinicals. So thank you for listening. And this was my presentation.